Hi y'all, I'm Mel and this is Gaslight Nation. We've had record job creation for a new administration. Economic growth unmatched in 40 years. The New York Fed has published an annualized estimate of quarterly GDP growth every Friday for a decade. On September 3rd, they announced that the COVID-19 pandemic is affecting the model and they're no longer going to publish the data until they rework it. Here's the thing. They could have published the number, the new estimate, I think they call it a, a nowcast, and then explained that they feel the pandemic is having an impact on the model and that they're going to rework it. It's not like there's a bunch of guys in the back room furiously scribbling over an abacus, you know? It's a computer model. They receive all the data, the computer spits out a number. So they could have published that number. They have it. They just didn't publish it. And then there's this. The Atlanta Fed continued publishing their forecast. Their estimate dropped 40% in the last two weeks. Now, this just puts the Atlanta Fed's forecast in line with the New York Fed's forecast, so it could be nothing. However, you can see from the chart that though the Atlanta Fed's forecast was quite, quite a bit higher than the New York Fed's forecast, they were moving uh, in, in tandem. If the New York Fed's forecast dropped 40%, then the esti estimated GDP growth would be just two and a quarter percent. Given that we artificially shrank our economy when we quarantined the healthy, Biden bragging about having the fastest growing economy in U.S. history is misleading, at least. If GDP growth drops to two and a quarter percent, it's an outright lie. Thanks for listening. Let's try again.